Uh, it was good to have you, Shiram, uh, for the CDAO UK as a guest. Um, I think today and tomorrow, and yesterday was a focus group, there were very interesting themes that came out. Us from a service consulting and a services uh, uh, organization, um, we saw a lot of reiteration of themes that we've seen with our existing clients like yourselves. But what, about, what are the key takeaways that you've seen in this one day session so far? What I've seen is the majority of organizations are experiencing the pleasure and the pain of uh, this sort of universal insight that data is the new oil and that it's going to create huge strategic impact and so on. So there is the, uh, the buy-in that there is a desire for uh, uh, CDOs and people like uh, in my kind of role to help make transformations in organizations versus the challenge that um, just saying inject uh, data science this or that is uh, not quite an adequate direction. People need to work with wherever their specific organizations are in terms of their data systems and the strategic priorities of the organization and this whole need to link into uh, the overall the objective. objectives of that organization. But, do you, but do you also see that, is it, do you see that CDOs like yourselves are increasingly getting the seat in the decision C-suite in terms of how data plays a pivotal role and how they're influencing the overall organization? Do you see that shift? Because we do see that shift. Um, with the clients. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, certainly in my organization, not only from the chief, chief executive, but even at the board level, there is uh, active uh, interest in uh, understanding the nuances of uh, what happens under the hood of data science. We have run a few pilot projects which have had uh, significant Massive. success and uh, we're trying to accelerate values in that space. But instead of treating it like a back kind of black box there is uh, in the past you would have had ERPs or econ or whatever but uh, as different from those technology cycles this time around I'm seeing uh, an active desire to understand what's happening underneath and actively participate to make it more successful. So, yeah, that's that's a change. Yeah, we've seen that interestingly. The second thing that I've seen in this theme is um, a lot of plethora of product companies. Now we are flooded with different products. When you look at red reporting or you're looking at lineage, in the data and analytics space, there are platforms. For us as a services company, we are unbiased. Um, when we work with a client, we actually look at we fit the technology lens versus the business problem, and then we see which which product would fit. How is it working with you in your previous capacity in this organization? How do you select the recipe for the best products that you would implement? So the, you know, I picked up this role about a year back, and coming in the steer that I've been using, directional uh, framework is to not go with products that are based on licenses. I'd rather have software as a service component, uh, saying this component is playing a specific role, but with the uh, sort of awareness that there might be something around the corner that could do that particular task better going along. So I would not want to buy anything that ties me in for multiple years and so on. And in within a year, I have had to replace several components because it is a fast-moving fast technology space. Yeah, Interestingly, you said it's a fast-moving technology space. How do you um, kind of upkeep your internal skill sets vis-a-vis -vis your partners like ourselves who come into it? Where is the balance? And um, you know, people talk about creating a center of excellence. A partner would like us to come in, implement something, and build that in-house in knowledge. But where is where do you see the right balance? Oh, so we work. I use a, we use a mix of internal and uh, external resources. What I am finding is because technologies are coming at such high speeds, you do not have people uh, with uh, experience and uh, knowledge for coming with a, a few years of uh, hands-on experience because these products are so new. So, so nobody has, has the knowledge and experience. Exactly. But uh, what I'm finding is having people from that broad space and they're all motivated to learn and so on. So even the in-house team, and as much with partners as well. But when I speak with partners and say, do you have people with experience on this product? And they say, hello, this product got launched three weeks ago. So how, does it, how do you have anybody with experience? So it is a collective uh, learning journey and so on. But certainly people with the right um, sort of legacy of experience are more able to 
uh, sort of get a, get to speed quicker. So in the sense, if you know how to drive a car, then you can drive uh, a different model faster. If you know how to fly planes, you can take a new model faster. But if you're going to take a taxi driver and make him a pilot, that's not going to work. That kind of uh, thing. And my last question was, we, we had saw some breakthrough sessions with advanced analytics. Like we were talking to one of our customers and they were saying they wanted to do everything with sentiment and network analysis, use knowledge graphs, and particularly to a domain. How does it work in your organization? Do you have different analytics? There's a business use case and then you actually work it in siloed or actually where are you when it comes to enterprise grade analytics and how is that as a strategy in your organization? So when problems come to me, they are not neatly categorized into this is an analytics problem or this is a data science problem or this is a data engineering problem. All of these teams report into me but um, the way I prefer to look at it is saying what is the, the problem? and then try to figure out what is the answer that is required to solve that problem and not pick a cool sounding technology or product and try and you know, take an answer and so try to search try a problem, to to find a, it's an answer searching for a problem is normally the wrong thing to do. So it's the problem that determines what the answer is. Thank you, but uh, I think the second day in progress, I think these are good forums where we are on the you know either side of the pond, but we are looking at a business problem. Us from a services point of view, and you from a business point of view, and sharing those ideas has been brilliant. At least for me, I've seen this session is uh, quite uh, exciting, and hopefully you've enjoyed. And thank you for being a guest. I've enjoyed working with you. Have shown the the ability to kind of come to problems that we have with an open mind and try and figure out what the right answers are, and not uh, as some organizations say to do, try and come with their favorite methodology and toolkits and say they want to enforce it. Really. So that uh, ability to recognize that every problem situation is nuanced and it needs its own blend of all these That's very nice mind. good models, but we cannot Thank you, that's very encouraging. Thank you very much.